Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. For today's lesson, we will discover one of the key part of the Earth's system, which is the volcano. At the end of this lesson, learners are expected to Describe the different types of volcanoes and volcanic eruption Explain what happens when volcanoes erupt And illustrate how energy from volcanoes may be tapped for human use A volcano is a rupture in the crust of a planetary mass object such as Earth that allows hot lava, volcanic ash, and gases to escape from a magma chamber below the surface. On Earth, volcanoes are most often found where tectonic plates are diverging or converging, and most are found underwater. A volcano mountain is formed by the surface eruption of magma from within the Earth's upper mantle. The magma that erupts the surface and forms a lava flow that deposits ash. As the volcano continues to erupt, a new layer of lava is added to the surface accumulating to form a mountain. Volcanoes based on activity are categorized into three, active, dormant, and extinct volcanoes. Active volcanoes will be classified as an active if at that present time it is expected to erupt or is erupting already. Dormant volcanoes is the classification of volcanoes which is called dormant would be a volcano that is not erupting or predicted to erupt in the near future. While extinct volcanoes is a volcano that no one expects will ever have another eruption. There are three general types of volcano based on appearance. Composite cinder cone, and shield volcano. Composite volcanoes are some of the Earth's grandest mountains, and they are also called astratovolcanoes. They are typically symmetrical cones of large dimension built of alternating layers of lava flows. Stiff-sided, volcanic ash, blocks, bombs, and cinders, and may rise as much as 8,000 feet above their bases. Examples of composite volcano are the following. Mount Mayon in Albay, Mount Fuji in Japan, and Mount Krakatoa in Indonesia. A shield volcano is a type of volcano usually built almost entirely of fluid lava flows. They have very gentle slopes and are developed horizontally. Shield volcanoes are built by effusive eruptions which flow out in all directions. They almost never have violent eruptions with basic lava simply flowing out. Examples of shield volcano are commonly found in Hawaii, Kilauea, and Mauna Loa. These are the simplest type of volcano. They occur when particles and blobs of lava are ejected from a volcanic vent. The lava is blown violently into the air and the pieces rain down around the vent. Over time, this builds up a circular or oval-shaped cone with a bow-shaped crater at the top. Cinder cone volcanoes rarely grow larger than about 1,000 feet above their surroundings. Example of cinder cone volcano is Paricotin in Mexico. Magma and lava are both came from eruption. Non-explosive eruptions, fluid lava flows easily, allow gases to bubble away. While explosive eruptions, there could be viscous lava, traps the gases until large pressures build up and the system explodes, while pyroclastic flow contains ash, rock fragments that flow out of vent. The volcano eruption begins with the formation of magma in the lower section of the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is made up of massive slabs called plates, which fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. The friction during the movement of plates causes earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. With pressure, it travels upwards with tremendous force, hitting solid rocks and other materials, and creates a new passage to the Earth's surface. Once the magma reaches the air, it is called lava. There are various materials ejected in a volcanic eruption. A pyroclastic flow is a dense, fast-moving flow of solidified lava pieces volcanic ash and hot gases. It occurs as part of certain volcanic eruptions. A pyroclastic flow is extremely hot, burning anything in its path. It may move at speed as high as 200 meters per second. 
pyroclastic flows form in various ways. Lava flows are streams of molten rock that pour or ooze from an erupting vent. Lava is erupted during either non-explosive activity or explosive lava fountains. The term tephra defines all pieces of all fragments of rock ejected into the air by an erupting volcano. Most tephra falls back into the slopes of the volcano, enlarging it. But billions of smaller and lighter pieces less than 2 mm, termed ash, are carried by winds for thousands of miles. Alohar is a type of mad flow or debris flow composed of pyroclastic material, rocky debris, and water. The material flows down from a volcano, typically along a river valley. It is very dangerous because its consistency and the way it acts is very much like cement. It is liquid when it's moving, but when it stops, it solidifies. This can cause just as much devastation as lava itself. By far, the most abundant volcanic gas is water vapor, which is harmless. However, significant amounts of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and hydrogen halides can also be emitted from volcanoes. Depending on their concentrations, these gases are all potentially hazardous to people, animals, agriculture, and property. Volcanic event can include eruptive pulse. Essentially an explosion with an eruption plume, but also non-explosive surges of lava. A pulse may last a few seconds to minutes. An eruptive phase that may last a few hours to days and consists of numerous eruptive pulses that may alternate between explosions and lava surges. A single eruption or eruptive episode composed of several phases that may last a few days, months, or years. Paricuti in Mexico was in eruption for 9 years, Stromboli in Italy has been in eruption for over 2,000 years. What are the signs of an impending volcanic eruption? Increase in the frequency of volcanic quakes, increase in the frequency of volcanic activity, crater close due to the presence of magma, localized landslides from the summit area, increase in the temperature near the area, and ground deformation. What are the different types of volcanic eruption? Hydrothermal eruption, phreatic eruption, phreatomagmatic eruption, strombolian or Hawaiian eruption, vulcanian eruption, and sublinian and plinian eruption. Hydrothermal eruption, an eruption driven by the heat in the hydrothermal systems. Hydrothermal eruptions pulverize surrounding rocks and can produce ash, but do not include magma. These are typically very small eruptions. Phreatic eruption An eruption driven by the heat from magma interacting with water. The water can be from groundwater, hydrothermal systems, surface runoff, a lake or the sea. Phreatic eruptions pulverize surrounding rocks and can produce ash but do not include new magma. Phreatomagmatic eruption An eruption resulting from the interaction of new magma or lava with water and can be very explosive. The water can be from groundwater, hydrothermal systems, surface runoff, a lake, or the sea. Strombolian or Hawaiian eruption These are the least violent types of explosive eruptions. Hawaiian eruptions have fire fountains and lava flows, whereas thrombolian eruptions have explosions causing a shower of lava fragments. Vulcanian eruptions are small to moderate explosive eruptions, lasting seconds to minutes. Ash columns can be up to 20 km in height, and lava blocks and bombs may be ejected from the vent. Subplinian and Plinian eruption. Eruptions with a high rate of magma discharge sustained for minutes to hours. They form a tall, convective eruption column of a mixture of gas and rock particles and can cause wide dispersion of ash. Sublinian eruption columns are up to 20 km high and are relatively unsteady, whereas plinian eruptions have 20 to 35 km tall columns which may collapse to form pyroclastic density currents or PDCs. 
Volcanoes can also be beneficial, since volcanoes are the main source of geothermal energy. People can capture geothermal energy through geothermal power plants, which use heat from deep inside the earth to generate steam to make electricity. Geothermal heat pumps which tap into heat close to the earth's surface to heat water or provide heat for building. Disaster preparedness refers to measures taken to prepare for and reduce the effects of disasters. That is, to predict and, where possible, prevent disasters mitigate their impact on vulnerable populations and respond to and effectively cope with their consequences. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or FIVOX is a Philippine national institution dedicated to provide information on the activities of volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis, as well as other specialized information and services, primarily for the protection of life and property, and in support of economic, productivity, and sustainable development. It is one of the service agencies of the Department of Science and Technology. PBOX monitors volcano, earthquake, and tsunami activity and issues warnings as necessary. It is mandated to mitigate disasters that may arise from such volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and tsunamis. What to do before a volcanic eruption? Learn about your community warning systems and emergency plans. Have disaster supplies on hand, like flashlight and extra batteries, first aid kit and manual, emergency food and water, essential medicines, and sturdy shoes. Also add a pair of goggles and disposable breathing masks. Keep a roll of plastic wrap and packing tape so you can wrap and protect electronics and appliances from ash. Be prepared for the hazards that can accompany volcanoes, mud flows and flash floods, landslides and rockfalls, earthquakes, Ashfall and acid rain, tsunamis. Evaluate sites for risk of volcanic disasters before even putting up structures in these sites. Reinforce existing building structures and build protective works such as dikes to deflect lava and lava flow. Have an emergency disaster plan in place, especially for evacuation and communication. What to do during a volcanic eruption? Listen to and heed the warnings given. Follow the evacuation order issued by authorities. Be aware of mad flows. Mad flows can move faster than you can walk or run. Look upstream before crossing a bridge and do not cross the bridge if a mad flow is approaching. Stay away from the area during volcanic activity. Cover your nose with a wet piece of cloth so that you will not inhale the smoke. Cover your eyes from dust and smoke. Evacuate from the place as soon as the authorities tell you to do so. Stay out of the area defined as a restricted zone by government officials. If indoors, close all window, doors, and dampers to keep volcanic ash from entering. Put all machinery inside a garage or barn to protect it from volcanic ash. Bring animals and livestock into closed shelters to protect them from breeding volcanic ash. If trapped outdoors, seek shelter indoors. If caught in a rockfall, roll into a ball to protect your head. If caught near a stream, be aware of mad flows. Move up slope, especially if you hear the roar of a mad flow. Protect yourself during ash fall. Wear long sleeve shirts and long pants. Use goggles to protect your eyes. Use a dust mask or hold a damp cloth over your face to help breathe in. Keep power or track engines off. What to do after a volcanic eruption? Help people requiring special assistance like the infants, elderly, and the disabled. Stay inside and listen for volcano information on your radio or television. Minimize your movements and keep all windows and doors closed. Unless advised to evacuate, stay indoors and wear a face mask to protect your lungs, 
wear glasses to protect your eyes. When outdoors or when evacuating, cover your mouth and nose, wear goggles to protect your eyes. Keep your skin covered with long pants, long sleeve shirt, and hat to avoid irritation from ash. Avoid driving after heavy ash fall. Driving will stir up more ash that can clog engines and stall vehicles. If you have a respiratory ailment, avoid contact with any amount of ash. Stay indoors until local health officials advise it is safe to go outside. Avoid areas where there might be volcanic ash fall. Volcanic ash can cause respiratory ailments. Remove volcanic ash from roofs. Volcanic ash is heavy especially when wet and can cause roofs to collapse. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more science educational video by clicking the notification bell.